Are you sick of your Shopify website looking like a boring free theme? Like this, this, or this? But you don't want to hire a developer or use paid building apps because these can be expensive. Well, what if I told you, you can get this luxury Shopify section that lets you show your best selling collections, your best selling products, which is going to help you increase your sales. This is going to be cheaper than any other alternative, you'll own the section forever. They'll be regularly updated for Shopify compatibility and you can install it quickly in under 5 minutes. The section comes with hundreds of different settings so you can customise the section to fit your exact needs. For example, to look like this, or this. So now let's talk about how to actually install your section. So first you want to click the link in the description of this video and it will take you to our website and you just check out as usual. You'll then receive an email with a link so you want to open that up and copy and paste the password to unlock your code. And there you go, you've unlocked your code. As you can see, this is the code for your new section and there's a lot of code. So you just want to click the blue button in the corner and copy all of the code. And now we're going to add our code to our Shopify theme. So you just want to go back to your Shopify dashboard and click the three dots and then you want to click edit code. But remember, if you don't want to do this on a live site, just in case you mess anything up, always best to do it on a draft site. This is now going to open up the code editor and we're going to be looking for the sections folder. And as you can see, you want to click the blue button that says add a new section. So this is going to open up a little window and you need to make sure that the liquid option is selected. And then you want to give your file a name, make sure you don't put any spaces and then click done. Once you've added that, you'll see it load a new file with some code in there. You just want to delete all of that and paste in your new code. And there we are, that's all done. So you've now installed your new sections. So you want to just open up the customizer, add a section as you normally would. And as you can see, your new section has loaded. You can then add that in and of course, move it about to wherever you want on the page and get customizing. Hello everyone, so now I'm just going to go through all of the customization settings of your new section just so you can kind of get an idea for what you can actually do with this um, and so how you can basically make it fit your brand so you can see here this is the finished one that I've done in this kind of jewellery uh, for this kind of jewellery brand um, I've got another section here which is obviously what your section is going to look like when you first add it so obviously it's blank and so yeah i'm just going to go through the settings really so i've added it in here if we now take a look at the settings you'll see the first thing you can change is the heading um so let's put a heading in here so i'm going to recreate this one so let's just put for now find your perfect piece um, and so then the next setting after that is actually the font size so you can see there's two different uh, settings here one is for the font size of this on the desktop and one is for the mobile because you may want different sizes so this gives a bit more flexibility so let's make the desktop a bit bigger if we go like that yeah that will do and then if we go to the mobile you'll see oh actually let me just hide this you'll see it hasn't actually increased the size on the mobile which is great so we can now use this other setting to change that um, so let's maybe just do that you can of course change the heading color so I've got it black but you can make it whatever you like paragraph text so that's this bit here um, so this says get the best okay let's just copy that actually so we've got something in there um, the font size again you've got the same option so desktop let's make that a bit bigger maybe let's see what the mobile looks like that looks pretty good actually you can change it but i think that looks pretty good size for that um, and then the next is the color of that again you can change it but i just need it black and now the buttons so the buttons are these two here you'll see there's no button here that's because there's no link um, inserted so once you put a link in i'm just going to put anything for now you'll see the buttons appear so we're going to add two buttons so these are all the settings for button one and then below that you've got button two, all the settings. Um, so for button one, we're going to put shop 
all products so I'm just gonna put that in here the background color is kind of I need it to be like a goldish type of color let's have a look here well let's actually just get the exact one so it looks the same so I'm gonna paste that in there there we go um, and so below the background color you've got the text color so I've got it white which it works for me but you can change that border color so we don't really need a border color do we okay um, so we've got like kind of like a grayish color just to make it pop a bit more so let's put some bit of gray on there the border radius so that's the curved aspect of the button so how curved you want it to be so I just want it to be square like that and that button's good so let's do the next button so I'm just gonna put shop or wedding rings as you can see nothing's appeared yet because there's no link so let's add a page link there you go and then you'll see it appear the background color for this one is actually white yep text we want black as well border color we want it to be that same sort of gray color there you go and then again radius we just want it square so that's the left column done we're starting to get there so now let's do the middle column so here you've got obviously the big image and then you've got an overlay here where you can kind of highlight a specific product or you know if you want something to stand out more so you'll see you've got choose an image so let's add an image in there I'm going to add the same one which I believe is this one here so let's add that in there there we go and now you can actually change the background color so for example if I had an image that had a transparent background for example like this one you can actually change the background color so you know if you wanted it to be something different maybe like gray then you can also do that but because the image I'm using is actually just a solid image we don't really need that so going to put that back in there um, and then you've got the image border color so if you wanted to sort of put some sort of color around it you can um, and then you can also curve it as well so if you wanted it to be circle you could do that but I'm just going to leave it square for now let's just maybe remove this color so if you don't want a color you can just type in transparent and then it will basically not apply anything so keep that in mind for all the color settings um, border radius yep so we want that square so the overlay heading as you can see this sort of black box overlaying the image so let's put in double diamond set diamond set and then you've got kind of some text here if you want to add something so you can actually just remove that or you know if you wanted to put like a price or something like that you can do um, again you can change the heading font size if you want it bigger or smaller you can also change the text size as you can see like that and then there's also a button in this section which isn't showing because nothing has been applied in this uh, field here so let's just put something in there and you'll see a button appears here so I'm gonna put that as maybe shop now um, and then you can change the overlay background color so that's the whole box so let's make it white and then the next is the opacity so you can see it's kind of see-through that's because it's actually got 50% applied if you turn that off um, it obviously disappears if you put it as a hundred then it will be a solid color so it depends what you want really I'm gonna put some opacity here um, but then keep in mind you're going to need to change the heading color so I want it black so you can do that here I also want the text color black so let's put that black as well and then you've got the background color of the button here so I want it white so let's put a white color um, the radius again we want a square one text color I want it to be black there we go and that looks pretty good so that's almost looks same as that the fonts are different but I'll do that at the end so that's the middle column done done let's see how it looks on mobile looks good just bear in mind uh, sort of how this is going to look on mobile so if you've got you know a lot of text in here it's going to look weird so you might keep that minimal 
um, and you can actually you know if you remove that that kind of looks better on mobile but it's up to you really whatever you want it to look like um, so that's the middle column done so now let's go to the right column so that's this part here so you can see here there's three different collections so I'll show you what you can do with that one so image one that's going to be this top image so let's put in rings let's have a look for rings let's use this one there you go obviously it looks weird because we haven't put all the images in so I'm just going to do that first so next one is going to be earrings so let's put in that there you go now you can actually use it with two um, if you don't want the third but this is really designed for three images so it may break depending on your settings so we want to keep it as as it's meant to be so let's put that in there um, so that one's kind of bracelets and there you go so let's go through the settings so image one link so that's going to be what the the user's directed to when they click on that so let's just put something in there image one text so that's in this overlay so we want that to say rings there we go image two so let's put a link in again that will be of course to the earrings collection so let's put earrings in there image three so we've got bracelets so again let's just give that a link that will go to the bracelets collection um, and then we're gonna put bracelets there we go and let's get in there so now we've got the background color so again these images are actually see-through um, so you can put some sort of background color that matches your style or if you have a solid image of again that's not going to matter but I'm going to put yeah this gray I think that looks pretty good okay and then below that we've got the border color again so if you wanted to change that I'm going to keep it gray I think that looks good the border radius I want it to be just square so let's put that like that the text color so that's this uh, text on these overlays so I think I'm going to need that to be black but first I'm going to change this overlay background so you'll see here text background colors so I want it to actually be white with a bit of an overlay so I'm going to put that white there we go and then we want it slightly see-through so 50 looks good again you can make it sort of like a solid color or as sort of faint as you want I'm gonna keep that as 50 but now I need to make the text color black which I can do with this field here there we go and then you can change the border radius of the overlays as you can see if you do that you can just see that it's curved all of them but I just want that to be sort of squared off um, and there we go that looks good so then now at the bottom we've got the section settings so these are kind of for the whole thing so you've got the padding at the top you know, if you wanted to increase the gap um, oh, probably don't want zero over there 50 is pretty good and again at the bottom you know if you want a big gap here leave that 50 you've got some left and right padding as you can see pushes it inwards and then the section background color so that's the color of the whole section so i've actually got here this one it's kind of like a really light yellow so i'm just going to put that in here so it matches there we go and you see the colors change you can obviously make it you know darker if you wanted to um why hasn't that changed let's save that there we go um, and there we go we basically recreated that section and it's looking pretty good no the only reason it looks quite different is the fonts so let's have a look what the fonts are so the fonts are controlled by your normal theme settings so in the left side you've got the theme settings button if you click on that you'll see typography and you basically got your headings and your body so for the headings I've got Bodoni Moda and I've also got the same for the body so let's come back here and change that so let's go typography let's just type that in uh, there we go it's that one there looks good and I'm also going to change that for this one click select and there we go we recreated a really nice luxury Shopify section that will not be possible to make 
on these standard sections here. These are extremely boring. Uh, let's have a quick look on mobile and see that it's fully responsive. So you've got the uh, left column here, which goes to the top with the buttons. You've then got your middle column image with your overlay with your buttons as well. And then you've got your three collections here um, and everything looks great. So, as I said, if you want to get access to this section and create something unique that's going to make you stand out and of course increase your sales, if you just click the link in the description, you'll come through to the product page where you can essentially buy and download the section. Just add it to cart and then you'll get an email and get access as I explained at the start of this video. It's free for now, um, so you know, just want to get many people trying it out really and see what everyone thinks. But the price may go up, so you know it's going to be zero pounds for. It's going to be free for a limited time, so make sure you take advantage of that. And then, until then, I will see you in the next video, and I hope you enjoy.